Hey, welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. Today's pretty exciting. We're gonna be moving the tractor up to the property today. I'm about to get it all set up so that we can get it loaded onto the trailer once I get here. I'm gonna remove the grapple and put on the pallet forks so that we can move the pallets of implements up onto the trailer and then reattach the grapple so that it can be shipped attached. I'm also gonna attach the rotary cutter to the rear PTO so that we don't have to worry about strapping it down separately. There's a lot of exciting stuff up at the property right now. Make sure you watch for all of the things that are going to happen today. I did it. Boy, did it take me way longer than I expected. I removed the grapple, set it right there, put on the pallet forks, moved both the pallets right here, and then I attached the rotary cutter right there. And this took forever. Getting this three-point hitch system set up to the rotary cutter was a huge pain. I probably spent over a half hour, maybe even longer, I wasn't really watching the clock, to get this completely connected. And then I moved it over here. Got a call from the delivery guy, said he should be here in about an hour. I have these Kubota orange pliers I'll go ahead and put in the Kubota toolbox. Tractor's all loaded up and heading up to the property. I'll be right behind him and meet him up there. I just got to the property. The delivery guy for the tractor stopped on the side of the road at some point in time to kind of readjust some stuff, strap things down a little bit better so they didn't fly off on the trip up here. And I'm glad he did that because I don't want to lose any of my tractor stuff. I wanted to give a shout out to Dewey from North Georgia Timber. He was the one I was in contact with the entire process of getting our trees taken down. He's a super awesome guy. He texted me the other day and sent some pictures. We ordered a stump bucket literally the day after I ordered it. They sent me an email saying it would be delivered in a week and it got delivered that day. So Titan Attachments was really awesome about shipping out our stump bucket in one day. It was like less than 30 hours from the time I placed the order by the time it got delivered. With that said, they just kind of dropped it off in the middle of our gate like in the middle of the driveway right here by the gate. And Dewey was super awesome and dragged it over here. So it's still all packaged up and ready for us to use. I'm really excited to start using this. I'm gonna go put the camera down for a minute and open this package. This right here, I was thinking it was plastic, but it's actually metal, like a really thin sheet metal that's like crimped right here. Good thing I packed the pliers with the tractor. I really wish I would have had it with me right now so I could get it opened up. But once the tractor's up here and I have access to those pliers, I'll be able to hopefully get a good grip on that and rip it off so that I can access the stump bucket. I'll go ahead and walk down to the home site, see if there's been any progress made. I don't think that there has. Didn't sound like they were gonna be doing anything anytime soon, which doesn't make sense to me, but what do I know? This isn't my job. I'm just paying them to do their job. This gravel driveway sure needs some more gravel. It's really bare in spots, it's spread out. Ooh, we have a nice little pond in the middle of our home site. That's gonna be really fun. We're getting our shipping container delivered next week. This is the area that they're gonna put the shipping container. Right here. They need to put some large gravel down so that the shipping container has a foundation and it doesn't just sit in the mud and slip and slide and fall off that cliff over there. It's not really a cliff. I imagine the semi truck isn't gonna have a lot of fun driving through that. So I really hope that they get that gravel here soon. I'm driving the tractor on the property. So exciting! I'm driving our circular driveway for the first time. Crank it up! Yeah! The tractor's here and so are the pliers. 
So let's go take that strap off the stump bucket. Oh, I should have driven the tractor up to the other end. I'm not used to having a vehicle that I can drive around on the property from one point to the next. Something I guess I'll be getting used to pretty soon. I got it. This is hard to do while holding a camera. But it's okay. It's fun stuff. They shipped it upside down. Well, there's the stump bucket. It was upside down, but I flipped it right side up. So this is what it looks like. This is the small version. I wanted to buy the big one, but then I realized that it was probably gonna be overkill and our size tractor wouldn't even do anything with it. And there it is. This right there will dig into the ground. Serrated edges will cut through roots. This goes on the front end loader instead of the grapple or the bucket. I have a feeling I'll be using this a lot. I put all that bubble wrap they shipped with the stump bucket into my car. I'll take that back to the house and throw it away. I don't feel like trashing my property before we're even living here. Hopefully we don't trash the property at all. I've seen some Mountain Dew bottles on the property prior to us purchasing it. Trespassers leaving their garbage everywhere. No manners. I'm gonna put the pliers back into the toolbox because I will probably need those at some point in time. Took the key out of the ignition because it's probably a bad idea to leave that up here. Finally have the tractor on the property. I got to play with it a little bit today. I moved some logs out of the way on where we want to put in our garden. And I tried out the rotary cutter. I'm not really sure if I did anything. I drove over some branches and brush and stuff. Didn't really see what it did. Might have done something. I just honestly wasn't really paying attention. I was just playing with levers and turning on engines and ramping up the RPMs and all that fun stuff that comes with a giant piece of diesel machinery. A giant for me. I mean, this is a compact tractor. They make them so much bigger than this, but they also make them smaller than this. This is the Kubota LX2610 SU. The SU stands for Special Utility. The differences between the SU and the standard version of this model are no mid-mount PTO, no tilt steering wheel, no armrests on the chairs, and no cruise control. We're probably not gonna have a lawn for a long time, and we have a riding lawn mower as it is. We can always get a zero turn mower if we need to for the property. Totally fine saving thousands of dollars to not have those features. That doesn't even include the price of the mid-mount mower. So we saved like probably $4,000 on this tractor by not having that feature. We can get a really nice zero turn that would mow way better than this thing would anyway. My main thing was I wanted the rear PTO so that we could have the rotary cutter and the box blade, a rear blade, tiller, like whatever else we end up using for that. We'll find so many uses for this three-point hitch and or rear PTO. Obviously we have the front end loader right here with the grapple attached. That's what I used to move all the tree trunks that were left over there. We also got the pallet forks. We can lift pallets and other things like our giant 225 gallon IBC tote that we're gonna use as a water for our animals it can be carried around with this. So 225 gallons of water is really heavy. That thing weighs like over hundred pounds without water in it. So using the tractor and the pallet forks is gonna be super helpful when we need to move that. Got the box blade, the bucket. I left the stump bucket up by the gate for right now because I probably need to get going pretty soon. I don't feel like removing the grapple just to go grab the stump bucket and then bring it back down here. I'm gonna be a little risky and leave it here for a week before we get our shipping container delivered. We plan on storing the tractor in the shipping container so that it can be locked up while we're not up here using it. And then once we're living on the property, I mean, it'll be right outside our front door. So we'll see if somebody's messing with it. Thank you so much for watching today. You got to see me play with the tractor a little bit, do got some decent drone footage, which was really hard to operate while driving a tractor. So I should definitely get a thumbs up for those skills. Comment below if you have any tips or tricks for driving one of these things. I have probably three to four hours total driving time. And a lot of that's just like moving stuff around our house, like picking up pallets and moving implements around. So actually driving on our property, I spent less than an hour today. Let us know below what you would do if you had a tractor. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We post at least one video a week, sometimes two, depending on what we have going on. We have a lot of really exciting stuff coming up. We just got an indoor setup for starting seeds. So we have some grow lights and some heating pads and a big wire rack and starter trays. Definitely watch for that because it'll be really cool to see how we're able to start our flowers from seed to seedling, move them into the greenhouse, and then eventually move them up to the garden that's right over there. As always, thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.